I'll be standing at the front of the room two or three times a week doing business presentations. So I'm very familiar with it. I usually have something like you sitting around who can do all the techie stuff. <laughs> they deal with that. And they just crank me up and say, Look, you get up in the front of the room and do what you can do. And so that's what I really do. I'm a guy that stands at the front of the room, cranks the engine, and I'm the only guy that Jim tells me how far, how fast to spin the handle. But apart from that, that's really the sort of business it is. And what I want to share with all of you right now, that you will not find a more structured, more sounded company than what we've been putting together for the last couple of years. We've really, really uh, gone about putting this thing together in a way that I think we're part of this. And what I will share with everybody here, that if you follow what I'm going to share with you today, and really hang on our shirt tails and, and, and get part of this, and really come and, and do what's required, then you won't, you won't be disappointed. So there's going to be some work. You know, it's not network marketing, not network marketing, so many people think it is, but it's network marketing. And it does take a lot of effort and a lot of disappointment. You'll find that there's an awful lot of no's for the yes you should get, okay? And Fiona and me have had more no's than any of you. I'll tell you that now. I've had a lot of no's. And you get people, you sign up, you think they're fantastic, and they come and go. They come through the gate, they do a bit, and then shh, off they go, think something else is better, get misled, you know, for some other opportunity and lose out. So this business is really all about understanding exactly what you're in. So what are you in? Well, you're in a company that's been come about through our disappointments, Jim's background and our knowledge of David, our programmer. You, you know, you really won't find a better collection of guys that, that know this industry. We've come about through, through basically, I think, a, a lot of reasons. I think the, the, the laws of the universe pull people together. I do generally believe that I was meant to, meant to meet uh, Jim and Jim was meant to meet David and the whole thing was pulled, pulled together that way. And, you know, we very rarely, we very rarely have a bad word, do we, Jim? Very, yeah. very rarely. I can never say, Jim, that's silly old side, you know, I never tell you, know. He says it about you, though. He might say that about me. But I, I, I never, ever, I can honestly tell you this now, I never go to bed at the end of the day thinking, I'm in the wrong place, yeah? And uh, what I want to share with everybody today is really <coughs> what this company's about and where we're taking it. So, as it says, this company advertising that was, uh, fast forward to today, and the advertising that is now. Well, where we are now, is, is four years down the road. Jim had two years before us, and uh, I've been living for two years now, just over two years. And uh, we've now got how many employees we've got now, Jim? Three employees in the office. Three in the office, and two really good part time guys that we can go on. One of them being George, a video, a video, what do you call him, Jim? A video producer. A video producer. Hello, is that Hi. Max? Max, come on in, Max. Come on in, guys, come on in. Good to have you all here. Sorry, mate. That's no problem. Come hey, on in. Hey, I'm sorry. Thanks. It's good to have you. So, what you've really got is you've got a, a, a really solid, sounded, grounded company that is here for the duration. Now, uh, not some of you may or may not know, I had a, a, a near death challenge a couple of years ago and he died and had a heart attack completely out of the room. And um, I was with the gym. I was fit when I one day. Yeah. Next, next minute, I was in you know, intensive care in the cardiac ward, uh, ward in, in uh, Shooting Hospital. Hello? Okay, down, down the hallway. Down the hallway. Oh. Yeah. And I nearly died. And uh, Fiona said to me, You're not too good. So we drove ourselves over to Shooting Hospital, and uh, I had a mild heart attack. And it was scary stuff. And for about 24 hours, I was in intensive, uh, you know, intensive. Department, and I honestly thought I wouldn't be here because I'd have an emergency operation the next day and they put all these stints in, you know. And um, it was quite an experience for me, so I don't want to do this again. You know, I don't want to be standing, you know, go through all this heartache and you know, because it, it is bad, it puts stress on you. And a lot of people don't realize they're ill until they're ill, you know. And as a consultant said to me, um, he said, You're one lucky guy. And the crazy thing is, the guy that actually did my heart operation had the same problem two weeks later. <laughs> so he didn't even know. Yeah? He had exactly the same problem as me. And he says, a lot of guys out there in their 50s and early 60s are all time bombs. So, um, you know, just be aware of that. It's scary stuff. So, um, when I was laying in that bed, I realised that uh, we need to get our act together. And uh, really, the last, I guess the last, what, six months, Jim? Mm -hmm. We've been fine-tuning in and whittling and just getting the whole thing perfected. And there's good reason for that, because we started off with one pay plan that Jim came with, and then we put another pay plan into it, and that was a good pay plan, and 
And that didn't kind of work as we thought it would work, not because paper didn't work, it's just that people weren't working in the business properly. And then, then we came to the conclusion that we need to put yet again, change it again. So you've gone through all that stuff to where we are here. And most people will tell you, if you look at the history of most MLM companies, they all go through this sort of early few years of just getting it right. And there's many stories of MLM companies that really have basically taken three or four years to get themselves right so they can then be solid to go forward. Well, early summertime, we realised that it was time for us to... Hello? Early summertime, we realised that it was time to sort of move the company forward. So we've got some good staff. And that's another thing as well, I just wanted to check there because that was really, really important. One of the problems that a lot of companies have is, is that they don't have the right staff around them as well. Um, they have the wrong people in the wrong, you know, the wrong jobs. And uh, we were able to get the right staff together and now we've got uh, John, Richard and Carl. And the three guys, they're right, they're the right guys. And obviously with David, our programmer, has just really pulled the whole thing together. So what you've got is you've got a company that's um, pretty much well founded and, and it's all put together, so let's just uh, let's see if we're going to pull it and make it pretty soon. So, um, yeah, having the right staff around is really, really useful. As you probably guessed, I'm not the best internet guy. 